Hi, welcome to Pilates Core Training. I'm Barbara Bruni. In past episodes, we talked about how Pilates is facilitated by breathing deeply and using a lot of the trunk muscles to help in respiration. Today, I want to talk about um, using that breath to help you stay in a, in a relaxed state. In Pilates, uh, Joe Pilates came up with six different principles. Uh, a couple of them is one is flow, one is concentration, another is precision. And when you keep that in mind, the flowing and the body mind or concentrating on the moves, uh, the moves can then be performed very precisely in the, in the nice exact alignment. So today we're going to go into our workout with a flowing type of emotion, being aware that strength not only happens from power work and, and heavy stabilization, but it also comes from having a very supple spine and being able to move gracefully in a dynamic or moving type of stabilization of the spine. So with that in mind, we'll start our breathing and we'll move on. Again, if anything doesn't feel right, please adapt the move to your comfort level. So let's start by lying down, keeping your knees bent. At any time we lengthen our legs out on the mat, feel free to put a pillow under your legs or a rolled up towel if that uh, would help your back. So as you inhale, you want to feel the ribs expand, not only upwards, but out to the sides and down into your mat. So let's try that, inhaling and exhaling. As you exhale, you really want to initiate that by reducing stress in your face, your jaw, your throat, your breastbone, and that will allow the ribs to move towards each other and down the abdominal wall. And that helps to activate the deep core muscles. Let's try that again. Nice deep breath. And as you exhale, relax the jaw, throat, feel your breastbone fall away from the ceiling and melt into the mat. As you inhale, you want to feel, besides the ribs expanding, your shoulders relax. Imagine your shoulder blades melting into the mat. And one more time, just focusing on breath. Inhale, easy shoulders, ribs expand wide in all directions. Your hands will move apart from each other. And then as you exhale, everything relaxes downward. The ribs move together and down the abdominal wall. And the navel as well draws in and up. So let's use that movement to stabilize by lengthening the legs and taking the arms overhead. Reach up towards the ceiling. You'll feel your shoulder blades come off the mat. And then press the shoulder blades. Feel like your arms drop heavy into the mat. Keep your shoulder blades against the mat and inhale. And this time as you exhale, take your arms overhead, stabilizing the ribs against your mat so there's no space between your ribs and the mat. Keep your elbows straight and you'll get a nice stretch through the lats and you'll see you'll hit the end range of your shoulder flexion. Inhale and your arms come up and exhale and take it overhead. And one more time, inhale and your arms come up. Exhale, take it overhead. Use the breath to supply that stabilization for your core. Inhale, bring your arms back down and by your sides. Keep that width and keep the imprint. We're going to need to change it. As you exhale, you're going to lift your head, neck, and shoulders. So rather than constantly thinking that this is just working the muscle, think that it's the muscle that's trying to get a little more movement out of your spine. And inhale and release. So as you exhale, think that you're lengthening your spine through the top of your head and you're lifting from just under the breastbone, trying to keep your shoulders off the mat. Neck is very easy. And then inhale and release. So let's do five more. Exhale to lift, shoulders stay wide. Reach your hands towards your feet. Inhale to release. Exhaling, using the same breath you discovered on the warm up. Inhale to release. And last three. And release. Exhale, think, relax your jaw, throat, sternum, ribs move together, belly moves in, and release. And last one, exhaling to come up, and inhaling to come down. Let's bend your knees, place your feet flat, and we'll start to move the lower uh, part of the spine. 
So as you inhale, make that big space between your back, anterior tilt, feel the back muscles contract. And then as you exhale, use your abdominals to press your low back into the mat. And then from there, articulate or roll your spine up until you're standing between your shoulder blades. And then articulate the spine back down. So articulation means to move it very easily, bone by bone. So rather than just pick the hips up and place them back down, it's almost as if you had a string of beads on the mat or a chain and you pick up one end of it and just very slowly pick up one bead or one link of the chain at a time. And then likewise, when you go down, you place one link or one bead down bone by bone by bone. So it's almost, let's do three more of these, it's almost a sense you have to find that there's less energy as you're moving the spine. So if you're keeping everything tight and tense, you're not going to be able to access as much movement of the spine as if you were letting some of the large muscles relax so that you can have a better pull or a better recruitment of the deeper intrinsic muscles to allow each vertebra to release and float down to the mat. And let's, re let's rest that and we'll put that together in a roll up. Hands go behind your thighs. Inhale, now full spine flexion. Lift your head, neck, and shoulder blades. Get as much lift of the upper body as possible. Then exhale, posterior tilt. Press the low back into the mat. And then use your thighs, press your thighs into your hands to help you roll up. So when you come up, you're going to stay in a rounded position. Try not to let your feet stop you or your back stop you. Keep the belly in. Inhale. And as you exhale, tail tuck, round your low back, and let one bone touch down at a time. Inhale, let's do that all in one breath. Exhale, lift your head, keep your shoulders relaxed. Draw your navel to spine and press your hands, press your thighs into your hands. Inhale here. And exhale, it helps to look down at your abdominals. Because if you keep your vision up, that's going to kind of take away from the rolling. So keep your vision where you want to go. Inhale, shoulders are easy, and exhale, tail tuck. So breathing fluidly. So we're thinking flow of movement. Let's do one more. Exhale to lift, shoulders relaxed. It has much lift from the upper body, and then flex the lower part of the spine. Inhale here, and exhale to lengthen down, bone by bone. Tail tuck first and round all the way down. Okay, so from here, we're going to move on. We're going to talk a little bit about rotation. Let's extend your legs out, put your elbows by your side, and push yourself up so that you're up on your elbows. Now in this position, take care that this doesn't happen. Your shoulders dropping forward and hunching those shoulder blades up towards your ears. There's still a lot of recruitment going on in the back to hold your shoulders stable. Bring your legs up to tabletop so your shins are parallel with the floor. Keep the distance so there's no collapsing. Keep as much space between your ribs and your hips. On your inhale, you're going to take your legs towards your right. Keep your chest center so you're just rotating from above the waist, below the waist actually, and then exhale to come back. So inhale, take it to your left. Exhale, draw the abs in to come back. Inhale, right, stay lifted. Exhale, draw your abs in. So as you do this, feel that you're using your deep muscles right low on either side of your hip bones to aid that coming up. Use your core to help this rotation. Exhale here and inhale. So pure rotation of the spine. Exhale to come up and inhale to go to the sides. So if you're doing this and it feels like it's a lot of work, continue with the knee bend. If you want to move on, take your legs to the side and then on your exhale, straighten your knees. Inhale, bend through the center and over and exhale, draw your navel in. Inhale, bend and exhale over. Being aware to check in on your shoulders from time to time to make sure they're stable, pulling back and down. 
Let's do one more set. Inhale and exhale, legs together. Inhale, bend, exhale over, and second exhale, extend up and bend. And place your feet on the mat and roll it up to a seated position. So we were uh, rotating from below the waist. Now we're going to rotate from above the waist, activating the rotating muscles a little bit differently. So let's sit up in a straddle, nice and straight, toes pointing up to the ceiling. Take your arms out to the side and we'll do our classic saw. Inhale as you twist tall. So watch here that you get the twist before you go into flexion so you get each move nice and clean. Inhale, look at your back hand, and then exhale, draw the navel in first, and then restack. Inhale, take it all the way around. Exhale, draw the navel in, reach. Inhale, and exhale to come up. So nice spiral tall. Watch for any substitution out of a nice spiral. Then exhale to reach. Hold on somewhere on your leg and give yourself a little extra pull. Inhaling and exhaling up on the diagonal. And again, twist, reach, hold, inhale, and exhale to take it up. Three more. Inhale, exhale, stay here. Inhale, exhale to come up. And last two, reach, inhale, exhale, draw the navel in to restack. Let's do two more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, pull and stretch, relaxing your shoulders. And last one. Exhale to reach. Inhale and exhale to come up. Let's roll over, going right into some nice back extension. So let's start with the feet flat and your elbows by your sides. Lengthen your spine, reach long out your feet, feel your shoulder blades pulling down your back, not so hard that it stresses the neck, but nice and easy. Feel your collarbones reaching wide to the sides, lengthen your legs, and on your inhale, lift up just a little bit, reach out your feet going as high as is comfortable, and then bring your elbows back down. Inhale, and exhale, draw the navel in, reach the legs long, and then as you inhale, lengthen your elbows, reach out your feet. So you want to feel the glutes kick in rather than sinking into your low back. And release, and three more. Reaching through the top of your head, open the shoulders, reach out your feet, working to feel the extension staying active between the shoulder blades. And release. And two more. Breathing normally, nice and deeply into the rib cage. And last one. Lengthen the legs, draw the belly in, shoulders stay out of the ears, press your breastbone forward, reach your neck long, and lower down. Let's bring the knees under you. Hands go underneath your shoulders. Knees are directly underneath your hips. Open your fingers wide and lean a little towards the outside edges of your palm. You're going to look over your right shoulder, getting a nice stretch side flexion. And then over your other shoulder and past your hips. Feel the stretch here. And let's do one more. So working into creating a little more movement of your spine within a spine or a side flexion. And release it. Let's tuck your toes under. We're going to go into a little more flexion of the spine, stabilization and then flexion. So inhale, shoulders are wide. Exhale, lift your knees up off the mat. Hold that. You want to be able to hold it without sinking your lower back or rounding your upper back. Share the work front and back. Now from here, you're going to press your hips up to the air, straighten up to the ceiling, straighten your knees, and work to get your ears between your upper arms. Press your heels into the mat, 
and draw your belly in. And then as you come down, find your neutral. Shoulders wide, spine long. Inhale. And as you exhale, straighten your knees. Feel as though somebody has your hips and they lift you up. And then lower back down one more time. Inhale and exhale, pressing up, ears between the arms, feet down as much as possible, elbows straight, and lower down and release it. Let's go on to your, uh, onto your left side. Take your left hand and reach it out on an angle. You're going to keep your bottom knee bent and extend your top leg. Your arm is out to the side. We're going into another side flexion. Inhale, a little more intense than the last one. As you exhale, you're going to press up through a side plank and then go up and over. Reach your right hand towards the floor and reach your right rib cage up towards the ceiling. Give yourself a little bit of a tail tuck. Inhale and then exhale take it down. So a lot of strength in the standing shoulder. Watch that that doesn't get tense. Keep it away from the ear. Let's do two more on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Pull the navel in. Organize the shoulder stabilizers and then reach it up. So your opposition, hand in hand reaching to the floor and your ribs and hip reaching to the ceiling and release. One more time. Inhale and exhale inhale feel the ribs expand and exhale and take it down let's do that to the other side so starting bottom knee bent you want your top foot to be slightly forward of your hip same as your hand you don't want it back behind your shoulder too much stress in the shoulder joint all right so inhale and organize your shoulders Exhale, kick the powerhouse in to go over. Inhale, press your hips up. Watch that you're on your side. There's no leaning back here. Pull the belly in and release it down. Inhale and exhale, shoulders down. Reach your body up towards the ceiling. And exhale, pull the navel in to release. And last one, inhaling. Exhale to go up and over. And inhale here. Exhale, draw your navel in and release it. And lie back down on your backs. Hopefully you're starting to catch a common thread that every move initiates by drawing your navel in, supporting the back activating the deep transverse abdominal muscle that is just your, your natural girdle, your natural, your muscle that holds your spine, um, I don't wanna say together, but holds your spine in length. All right, that, then you can move your spine and still stabilize it. All right, so let's move on here. We're going to go into that bridge again, but we're going to make it a little more challenging. So inhale. Exhale, posterior tilt, roll up, get that nice slinky feel, that nice articulation of the spine, stabilize it now. Now, as you're up here, think your ribs are connected and your navel's drawn in, and give yourself just a small glute squeeze, and that should hold this neutral curve while you're standing on your shoulder blades. <laughs> All right, lift your leg up and hold it. Now, watch that that hip didn't just fall, you're going to keep your right hip of your lifted leg as level or as high as your left. Now extend it up, inhale here. Now if this is enough for your left hamstring, just hold it. If you want to progress, exhale, take your leg down, and inhale, take it up. Four more. As you take it down, keep the hips up, and that will allow you to get into the hip extensors your hamstrings and your glutes. Last two, neck is long, shoulders are wide, and last one. And bring your knee in and place it down. Inhale and roll down out of your bridge. 
draw the navel in, keep your tailbone aiming up until your hips go down, and then release. You'll really feel the low abs kick in there. Uh, let's do the other side. Inhale, and exhale, roll it up. Again, just as much energy as necessary. Not getting all stressed out and tense over the rolling. At the top, inhale, and then bring the ribs down, draw the navel in. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, extend it. Inhale, check your hips. And exhale, lower down for five. And inhale, up. And exhale, watch that your standing foot doesn't roll one way or the other. And down for three. Exhale, zip up from your pubic bone to your sternum every time you lower the leg. And last one here. Inhale and bend your knee. Lace it down and on your exhale, lengthen down bone by bone by bone. Okay, the next one is a roll over. We rarely ever do this. Uh, on the show, but it is such an important part of Pilates that every once in a while we have to use it. It's where you bring your legs over your head. Um, if you have any neck issues, then you don't want to do this one. Otherwise, we're going to go into the full rollover, which is very similar to the down dog that we did a minute ago with the same degree of flexion of the spine. So on the inhale, you're going to bring your legs up. On your exhale, press your low back into the mat. Bring your legs up. Inhale again. On your exhale, use your abdominals, not so much arm, to roll you over. Now, while you're here, open across your collarbones and try to bring one more vertebra down onto the mat so there's no standing on your neck. You should be able to lift your head at this point so that you're not substituting out of spinal flexion. Inhale, and as you exhale, keep your knees straight. Lower down, bone by bone. Keep your head and shoulders on the mat, and inhale. All right, so here we go. We'll do three more. Inhale, pike your legs in towards you. Exhale, draw your navel in, and then use the strength of your abdominals to roll over. Inhale, shoulders wide. And exhale, draw the navel in. Feel like you're pressing your thighs in towards your body to lower down. And two more, inhale, exhale, pike, posterior tilt, and roll it over. Inhale, feel the nice stretch in the back. And exhale, draw the navel in, open the back of your knees, and lengthen down. And last one, trying not to use momentum, but power from the abs to roll over. Inhale, and exhale, pull the navel in, and lengthen down, bone by bone by bone. And bring your knees in, and feet come down to the mat. Let's push over to one side, and sit up. And we'll go into a little more of a side stretch, and we'll go into mermaid. Put your feet together on your left-hand side of your body. Stack your knees over each other and stack your feet. Walk yourself up with your right hand until you're at the point that you can take your hand off and you're balanced here. Lifting tall, pull the navel in. Take your right hand and reach overhead. Relax your left shoulder. Feel as though your left armpit just melts down your waist. Now reach through your right hand. Press your right rib cage away towards the wall that it's facing. And inhale. And exhale and release it. Let's go to the other side. Feet to your right. Knees stacked, feet stacked. Walk yourself up with your left hand until you can take your hand off the floor and reach up and over, breathing. Relax your right shoulder. Reach your left rib cage towards the wall it's facing. Reach in the opposite direction with your left hand. And inhale there. 
and exhale, draw your navel in to come out of that. Moving on, let's roll back over onto your backs. And we're going to do the final exercise, which is called neck pull, which is not pulling your neck. All right, so this one is a little more advanced. You're going to place your fingertips in front of your forehead, elbows wide to the side, just slightly pointing up. Inhale. As you exhale, lift your head, funnel your ribs, draw your belly in, try to come up with the power of your abs. Slide your hands behind your head and give yourself just a very gentle press on the back of your head, looking at your belly. Feel that nice neural stretch. Inhale. And as you exhale, draw the navel in. Keep that gentle pressure on the back of your neck and roll it up. And then relax. We can do several more of those if you have the time, but we have run out of time. I hope you enjoyed today's class. I hope that you have a little more understanding on how to stay relaxed with these exercises and to feel invigorated. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.